background, it, it fits, you know, just everything that we do because on our channel, you know, we like RGB. We like things that glow. And we're taking a look at these speakers that are gaming speakers, desktop gaming speakers from Edifier. Uh, we're talking about the G500 gaming speakers that I'm telling you have really captured that captured me not just because of the audio quality, but because the RGB and also the looks. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now the G500s are gaming desktop speakers that have a large footprint, but they also pack with powers. We're talking about 88 watts of power, and they also have three sound modes. You have a gaming mode, you have a movie mode, and then you have a music mode. And for those of you who are wondering like, what's the difference as you're going through each one of these modes? Well, the speakers, go a little bit brighter in my opinion when they are in the gaming mode and in the movie mode I find that um, it really is doing a better job of highlighting uh, the things that you would expect in movies voice and also some of the action that's going on but one of the things I wanted to highlight is both in the gaming and in the movie mode I don't really get um, an enormous bass effect so if you're someone who's really into bass it's not that these don't produce bass but they're not going to be that thumpy 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 bass now on the music side I have to tell you, these sound spectacular as well. So it does have a music mode and you're gonna be able to uh, experience um, as we do our test. Now, they're Bluetooth, right? So they're Bluetooth 5.0 uh, and that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to connectivity. And as I mentioned, one of the things that really stands out about these is that they're RGB accents and they have really, really cool accents that at night or even as you're working, I love the way these things look. Now, these are no joke when it comes to audio. We're talking about high res audio, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz type uh, experience that you're gonna get from these. And again, I was, I was surprised when I turned these on and I started listening to music, Nold and I, we were like, Wow, not, not, not just wow, but you know, we're playing some of our favorite tunes and we even were dancing to all them because they sounded that great. Now they do have dome tweeter, like a three quarter inch dome tweeter and also a four, uh, four inch mid uh, base. Now from a connectivity perspective, there's a lot of connection options. And what I like about this is that you can have a variety of devices connected depending on what you're connecting this to. And let me, and let me explain this. Basically what you have is a USB connector you have a, a 3.5 connector, you have an aux cable, uh, you have Bluetooth, and you literally can have these connected to four different devices and just flip through each one of these as you're listening to music or want to switch from device to device. Uh, how would you use this? Well, let's say you, you could have your phone connected to it via Bluetooth, switch, have your PC connected via USB, switch. You can then have your Xbox or PlayStation, anything that has a 3.5 millimeter output, out. You also have the aux. So you have all these different connections that are really going to expand like the usage of the speakers. Not only that, but what you have is obviously a lot of compatibility. PC, Mac, PS4, laptop, you know, it, pretty much it comes down to anything that you can connect to uh, either port wise or Bluetooth wise, you're going to be able to play on this. And again, they are just so clear and so enjoyable that I was just, I really didn't expect to like these these much but I have to say, I really do. So if you're really looking for some gaming speakers, speakers that have RGB and they sound great, and uh, again, you like this footprint, these are definitely ones to consider and buy. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the G5000. You can see these speakers look spectacular. They have a larger footprint than most speakers do, at least the gaming speakers that I have on one of my other setups, but I really, really love the RGB that you have here. Now inside the box, in addition to your speakers, you're gonna have a USB cable, you have an aux cable, and then you have your optical cable. Now the G500s have a great side profile. Uh, you can see the RGB going throughout, and you can see kind of like that rainbow effect, and you also see the gaming uh, tag here that also has the RGB. Now this system, the left speaker, or it could be the right or the left, depending on how you position it, but in my case, I put it on the left side, is the one that is gonna control or uh, pass power onto the second speaker. So this is where you have all your controls. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this this way just slightly so you can see uh, the subwoofer. So you have the subwoofer, you have your, or the woofer in this case, and then you have the uh, tweeter right here. And you can see if I put my hand right over it, it's not that large, but this really has an overall nice aesthetic. And as I mentioned, has great sound. Now, if we turn it uh, further over this side, you'll see again that same treatment is present uh, with that nice um, RGB going on here. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the controls and the back so you can see what you can expect. Now, on the back of the speaker, you can see that you do have all of the controls or the inputs that we talked about. You have your optical, you have your 
aux cable out. You also have the connection that is going from this speaker to the next speaker. Now, you could again have each one of these connections being fed different inputs, right? So one of them could be your PC, the other one could be, let's say for example, PlayStation or Xbox, and then you can continue to again, uh, leverage all of these. In this case, I have everything connected via Bluetooth, and the only connection I have is the second speaker. Now, at the top of the speaker, you do have your controls as well as your indicators as to what mode you're in. Uh, you also have your volume rocker here, and by pressing each one of these, you're gonna be able to go to each one of these. So you have your status and then your changer here. Um, as you change to each one of the modes, it's going to tell you what mode you're in. So check this out. Game mode. Movie mode. Music mode. All right. And if I were to change this? Bluetooth input. And it's right now connected to my phone. Line input. Optical input. All right, so it goes through each one. We're gonna go back to Bluetooth mode and we're gonna skip Plexio. that one. Go back and we'll see how well these sound. Now, as we mentioned, the second speaker only has one cable that's going to it and that's gonna both supply power to get the RGB going and also sound. Now, for this part of the audio test, you're gonna hear a different audio experience. Uh, you're actually gonna be able to hear more of a binaural experience or you're also gonna hear the actual, um, I would say, room itself. So this is a very ample space, so there's probably going to be some more of echo coming from my voice, but I wanted to give you what these would sound like. Uh, this is actually a second workstation of ours in our home with everybody working from home and whatnot, and we have the speakers here, so let's go ahead and try some bass so we can see how it sounds. <laughs> Now, I did say that they didn't have a lot of bass. Well, maybe I lied. <laughs> I don't know. They sound pretty good to me. And you know what? That was pretty thumping. Now, this next track is going to highlight the acoustics. So you're going to be able to get a lot of detail from guitar playing. There's going to be vocals in here. And it's really about, I would say, um, accentuating the actual audio experience. This is one of my favorite tracks that I use for testing because I, I like to hear the guitar strings strumming. I like to hear how the different parts of the, of the song come together when you introduce each instrument and then actually you introduce the vocal. So let's go and check it out. I tell you, these sound awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, hot RGB, great connectivity. The bass was, I'm, I wanna say, the bass I thought was spectacular. And then the mids, the highs, the vocal was on. Love them, love them, love them. I can't say anything more, but I love them. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.